Hey guys, I literally just caught up with editing and uploading the vlogs. I've fallen about a week behind, but it was pretty easy to catch up. Key is to not fall behind, especially when I go back to work, because it just takes that little bit of time when I have multiple to edit, um, that I don't necessarily find the time to do when I'm working. Got my, my doggo here with me. Um, and guilty pleasure, I'm watching the Kardashians. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy it, but I do. Um, today, for the first time during my leave, I've actually cleaned a lot. I um, took all our rubbish down and stuff like that. I washed my wetsuit and my scuba gear. Oh, sorry, my wetsuit and my snorkeling gear. Um, obviously, I've edited the vlogs. I've cleaned a lot of things, threw out a lot of the stuff that I had in my old car, and then like just condensed everything that I want to keep and, and actually put it away. It's the first time during this leave that I've actually managed to do that, and I've been, I've only got two days left after today so I was just watching yesterday's video and I was talking about my leave and to expand on that I'm actually like this is the best block of time off that I've had from work in a really long time every single night besides for the first couple I've gotten over eight hours of sleep and I just feel so well rested I'm not needing naps and stuff like I normally do I'm going to bed at like 10 p.m falling asleep by about 11 or 11 30 and then waking up at 8 in the morning and I just I'm waking up naturally I'm feeling really good my energy levels are pretty decent and they're not the greatest and I think that's to do with the fact that running's still pretty new to me um, obviously I started running 10 weeks ago but I haven't been exactly consistent with it I think for the first few weeks I ran three times and then I ran once one week and then twice on another week and I'm saying Emily when I get to the point where I'm running four times a week every single week without fail I think my energy levels will sort of probably taper and reach sort of a happy medium. Um, having said that, I'm not gonna ride my bike this week. I'm not gonna add that in while I'm on leave and exhaust myself. If I'm gonna do it, I probably should do it while I'm on leave, but it is what it is. Um, tomorrow I'm switching, I was supposed to be running a 5K, I'm switching it to my long run tomorrow because I'm gonna have some beers tomorrow night while I watch the football. Um, and Emily and I are probably gonna go to Korean barbecue for dinner and then I'm going out to dinner with friends on Saturday. Um, I can't drink on Saturday or I don't want to drink because I have work on Sunday so it's good it limits me to only drinking alcohol tomorrow night um, once a week still not the most ideal but looking at my work schedule for the next bunch of weekends I'm, I'm working every weekend so I'm going to be pretty good with my food and my eating so I might as well enjoy it while my last weekend of leave essentially even though I go back on Sunday um, pretty stoked and excited for my 13k run tomorrow my legs actually feel better than they have in a really long time. I'm going to try and probably wake up similar time tomorrow at about 8am, have some toast and stuff before I go for my run, chill, and then go for my run 13Ks by the beach around, around Albert Park Lake. And then I'll probably go in the water for a little bit for recovery purposes and then just take the day pretty easy until the footy starts and... I mean, probably go to Korean barbecue, like I said, before footy. And then, um, yeah, it'll be really good. Pretty stoked that I've caught up to date with the vlogs. Um, I've been listening to the 9 to 5 Fitness podcast and I was talking to Emily about it recently about how I really stopped watching a lot of the fitness YouTubers like Will Tennyson and Jesse James West and stopped listening to 9 to 5 and all that sort of stuff. I feel as though I almost, I don't know if it's, it's a chicken or the egg sort of scenario. I don't know if I'm motivated because I, when I watch that stuff or if when I'm unmotivated I stop watching that stuff. So... I like being surrounded by watching people achieve stuff and definitely like gyms are opening again tomorrow. I, not tomorrow, I don't want to go back because there's still density limits and stuff like that and I'm still getting used to the running again but at some point in the next month or so I want to get back into the gym and I want to focus more on the compound lifts and doing power lifting and stuff like that and just getting really strong. Less accessories so I, I don't want to spend as much time in the gym. I'd still love to go four times a week and run four times a week. It's that balancing act of finding out, you know, what level of exertion I can do while I'm still working full time and doing shift work and stuff like that. I'm certain that I can get to a point where I can run five days a week and probably lift five or six days a week, but it's going to take months and months of build up and getting used to it and then not slacking off when I go on holidays and stuff like that. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I'll film more later. It feels so good to be up to date. The productivity continued after that first clip. I ended up actually putting that on the computer and beginning to edit today's video already um, and then I just did heaps more cleaning cleaned the basin in the bathroom um, just general tidying and stuff like that uh, Maggie had a soft squeaky toy that 
Axel had come over and he like sort of ripped the hand off of it. I've been meaning to repair it for ages and because it was falling apart I didn't really have it around the house because I didn't want some manky thing that was falling apart around the house so today I sewed it up. Um, clean my bedside table. The one thing I haven't done is read a lot today but that's okay and I also Confession, re-downloaded TikTok just to watch some 9 to 5 fitness videos. I'll keep it on my phone for the time being, see if I can limit my usage. If that's not possible and I find myself keep being on it too much, which is the likely outcome, I'll delete it again at the very least before I go back to work on Sunday. Um, gearing up for my long run. This is my fourth litre of water for the day. I might actually also have some bedtime electrolytes. I just thought of that now. Um, I like to really load up on the electrolytes and stuff like that before my long run because I know just how much running 13Ks takes it out of me, um, especially at the fitness level and the weight that I'm at at the moment. Makes it even harder. So yeah, pretty excited for tomorrow because I know that at the end of my 13K run is going to be a Korean barbecue feast with Emily and then beers with the football. So it's going to be a really good night. Can't wait. Um... Definitely, like I said, don't want to get in the habit of doing this every weekend, especially because I'm planning on having two days where I sort of don't track my macros. But if all goes well with the amount that I'm running and the amount that I'm keen to get back into the gym, it won't be an issue pretty shortly because I'll uh, just be focused on performance, especially where I want to go in my job. Uh, I talked a lot about how I wanted to try out for a different job within my job last year, but... Um, I lost interest because my fitness did not go the way I wanted it to when lockdowns ended. I was going out too much, gaining too much weight, not running because I got injured. Um, but if I can keep up the running and get into the, the powerlifting stuff, I am going to absolutely smash it. So anyway, that is all I have to say. It's going to be another good sleep for me tonight. I can already feel it. It's 20 to 10. I'm pretty much ready for bed. I'll definitely be asleep by 11 o'clock. Hopefully get a solid nine hours of sleep in. Wake up and go for my run. It's going to be good. Thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.